Hey guys, um, quick video here. This is the um, um, ICO signal generator, the model 324. Haven't done a video of this, so I thought that I would make a video of this for you to check it out. Um, it's a really nice construction. This is all um, aluminum and then the case is uh, steel with the uh, nice coating on it there, just like the um, uh, the other one that we have, uh, the General Instruments. It's the other one was the Let's see, the other one is the, the signal tracer. Yeah, right, sorry. Uh, they all look kind of similar and you have to remember which one and which General Instruments. And that's the uh, signal tracer there. Okay. Um, anyway, uh, if you look, the um, dial <coughs> bulbs are burned out. Uh, that's got a nice action to it there. Yeah. I guess it's a, what would you call that? Um, a reduction or not a reduction gear, but whatever. You you turn this a little bit and the other turns more like a rear end in a car, whatever. But uh, anyway, um, it's not working. This, this one actually is not working. Uh, it, it does, it's alive, but, uh, and I have the um, coaxial, coaxial for it. Uh, the RF there, and um, it, it does fire up, but uh, this um, potentiometer here is really screwy. Look, and that's not, it stops there, that's not the, um, the set screw either, that's, it's really springy, spongy, strange, it will turn and turn, but it's not the set screw. It's really, I think it's broken. I've probably got some to work, I'll have to check the uh, schematic. If I can find one. Anyway, here's a here's a surprise. This is a uh, aluminum. <coughs> I guess it's I don't know three sixteenths or eighth inch. Uh, you know, just like most of the stuff, it's real nice. But on the back, I don't know why they did this, but this is actually copper. Um, copper plate, I guess. Copper plate. Uh, what would you? Whatever. I mean, but I scratched it and it's copper all the way through. I don't know why they did that. Maybe. Help it be more of like a Faraday effect on it. I, I don't know. Anyway, I've never seen a selector like this before. Let's focus here, my iPhone. Um, I don't know if you have. Of course, of course, most of you have. Most of you probably know more than I've or forgot more than I know. But uh, I've been doing this stuff a long time. I just don't know all the specifics and um, uh, wasn't trained. My dad used to be able to fix anything. He still can. And he just kind of, um, you know, he had a pawn shop, he sold guns and everything, and he used to fix a lot of things that came in himself. And he wasn't trained either. Actually, he has a, a degree in, um, um, number accounting. He has an accounting degree. Uh, but he never went to school for this stuff. He grew up on a farm, and he can, like my granddaddy, could just fix anything. So here's a tube mounted upside down here. I uh, could look up the tube. Um, I don't see the number on it. I'm not going to. You can. You know the model number. You can look it up. But this is another one of those tuning capacitors here that uh, does have the ball bearings on it, just like the other type. I don't know if you can see it there. Let's see if I can turn it. Uh, I don't have the flash on here, the light, but it has some ball bearing. I haven't um, lubed it, greased it like uh, uh, the other the other ones, but uh, it looks like um, actually this the other Ico machine. Um, was Japanese a lot of it was the speaker and the tubes but these actually say this one here is made in USA um, this one says uh, made in Great Britain so does that tell me that it may be a mullard if so it may be a pretty good tube there but uh, anyway there's stamped ICO on the uh, transformer there's the dial light that's out uh, it's threaded just squeeze them together I'm sure and it comes right out well, it looks like some kind of weird glue, kind of like the uh, Gorilla Glue that you get today that they used. Uh, so anyway, copper, very interesting. Uh, let's look underneath. But a selector is really strange. Uh, is that kind of like IF there? Um, I guess these are adjustable. I don't want to screw anything up. Wow, I've never seen one like that before. I need to lube that and clean it a little bit, I guess. Little cap resistor on top there, and 
Anyway, so a little transformer there. And we'll sit underneath. Um, I guess those are a bunch of spray waxies there. I have not checked anything on here yet. Just wanted to give you a first look. I always try to do that. Um, let's see where that one. Yeah, this is the bad um, pot here. Focus. Ah, maybe that's the problem. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, so it's turning. I need to tighten the nut up underneath it, but this is a first look. It's. Um, Okay, I'll fix that, but it's really stiff. It shouldn't be turned out. I guess I need to um, clean it and then put some lube in it there. But uh, So I'll back off here a little bit and give you a focused look. There you go. There's a, it looks like a three-section capacitor there. And this is what's really interesting. This, I'm not really sure. Oh, another nice transformer there. Um, RF is not shielded. That's strange. Oh, maybe this shields it. Maybe that's good enough to shield it. I guess the copper and the uh, steel. Anyway, so um, this guy here is very interesting looking. I have not seen anything like that. It says model 50, and it does have a uh, cathode anode marking on it. And a strange um, symbol. Can you see that? I'm, I'm doing all this with an iPhone. It's an iPhone 5C, so I'm not sure how clear this is going to be. I don't have any editing software. This is the only computer that I own, really, that works. So anyway, uh, how does that uh, how does that grab you there? That's what Grandma would have said. Uh, whatever that is, uh, not a diode, but uh, maybe not not really a capacitor, not a thermistor for sure, but uh, very strange. These look like sprigs, I think. Um, I gotta be careful outside foil. What? One micro at uh, 400. Mm. Anyway, I thought y'all might like to see the insides of this guy before we do a fired up video. Anyway, thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for watching. Sorry about the rambling, and uh, have a good night.